in this video I'll show you how to generate a bibliography using Mendeley and this is really where Mendeley becomes a very powerful tool although you can only generate a bibliography if you have already added references to your document. So Mendeley is a machine, Word is a machine so it doesn't know what you want, you need to show it what you want. If you want your bibliography or your reference list at the end of the document you need to make sure that your cursor is at the end of the document before generating the bibliography. So I'm going to give my references a heading. I'm going to call it references. And then I want my bibliography to be generated directly underneath this heading. So I'm going to put my cursor exactly where I want the bibliography to be. Then I'm going to go to references and click insert bibliography. You will then see a bibliography is generated based on all the references that you've included in your document. If a particular reference is in your Mendeley library but you have not referenced it in your document, then it won't actually come out in your bibliography. I also want to demonstrate to you what happens when I add a reference that I haven't added before. And there you will see Mendeley added the additional reference. If I remove this reference from my document, Mendeley will also remove it from the bibliography. It's very important also in the bibliography that you don't manually edit anything. If you need to edit something in the bibliography, so let's say that Werner's reference is actually a 2007 document and not actually a 2005 document, it's important that you make this change in your Mendeley desktop app rather than in your Word document. Once you've made that change, you can click the refresh button and that will then change the date to 2007 in your reference list as well as in each of the in-text references you have included for that particular author.